Hi and welcome to this DSCI 2021 in London, UK. I'm going to show you around the show floor and uh, point to you some of the interesting uh, new systems that were on display this year. We are now on uh, the MBDA stand. They are showcasing uh, concepts of missiles for the future. They won't mention it, but uh, it's part of the FKSW future cruise and anti-ship weapon. This is the model of the hypersonic uh, missile solution. And on my right is uh, the model in a full scale of the stealth and smart uh, subsonic missile. I understand that uh, the British customer uh, has a preference for that smart missile, while the French customers uh, rather would rather go for the hypersonic one. Uh, we will see what uh, solution ends up, uh, ends up being uh, picked uh, by both customers. Also on display is the Spare 3. Uh, missile. It is uh, currently deployed on board the uh, Queen Elizabeth carrier as part of CSG-21 with the F-35B uh, fighters. This weapon can be used in anti-ship roles from the aircraft. And this is a model of the spare EW for electronic warfare missions. On this side of the stand, we pretty much have the entire uh, anti-ship missile portfolio at uh, MBDA. So the latest variant of the MM40 Exocet missile in its Block 3C variant. This is for the French Navy. They are upgrading their missile as well as building new ones. It comes with a very advanced uh, Korean Seekers, uh, which makes it more resistant to jamming from uh, countermeasures and uh, electronic warfare. Behind it is the Marte ER. This one has been selected by uh, Qatar for its NH-90 helicopters as well as coastal batteries. It's also been selected by the Italian Navy for its NH-90 helicopters. Behind me, the Sea Venom. Uh, this missile is a light anti-ship missile selected by uh, both the Royal Navy and the French Navy for their helicopters. And here is a new product, the Maritime Brimstone. It's uh, being showcased for the first time. It's basically a naval variant of the famous uh, Brimstone uh, anti-tank weapon. It's uh, designed to be launched by, uh, from surface uh, vessels to target surface targets. And finally behind me are some of the uh, naval anti-air solutions by MBDA. On my right, the Dragonfire laser weapon demonstrator, a program which is still ongoing. And on my left, the Aster 30 B1NT, long-range surface-to-air missile, and the CAM. It was announced last month that uh, the Type 45 uh, destroyers of the Royal Navy uh, would be upgraded with 24 cams and they will uh, keep their 48 silos, silver silos, to launch Astor 30 long-range surface-to-air missiles. German shipbuilder TKMS is showcasing for the first time a scale model of its XL UUV, extra-large underwater unmanned vehicle. Uh, it measures from 15 to 50 meters in length. The concept is very modular. Uh, the company can fit uh, several mission payloads as well as uh, configure for extra range, additional uh, oxygen and hydrogen tanks. The design features both AIP and lithium ion battery, hence its endurance of several weeks. This shows a commercial configuration with an ROV here for oil and gas application. But uh, defense applications, of course, include ISR, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance, anti-submarine warfare, because the design can uh, deploy heavyweight torpedoes. Uh, it can also conduct uh, long-range uh, minefield reconnaissance for the detection of uh, naval mines. TKMS is also conducting a study for an underwater cargo variant that would be 150 meters in length. English company MSI Defense is showcasing its uh, Sea Hawk in its 30 millimeter variant. Earlier this year, they have been selected by the US Navy for the Mark 38 Mod 4 prototype program. Down the road, this weapon system will be fitted on all surface combatants of the US Navy, starting with the DDGs.
Well, the first thing I would say is that we are very pleased to show Sea Serpent at this year's DSEI. It is the first time that IEI have shown Sea Serpent uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, sea Serpent itself is, uh, has been an opera, operationalization of technology into a missile system that makes it the best anti-ship and land attack missile system available in the world today. There have obviously been a parallel development path with other missile systems in the IEI portfolio, but this missile is specifically designed to meet the threats that the Royal Navy will field both today and most importantly tomorrow. It is a sunrise capability, it's at the start of its capability development path um, and I, I can say it is without doubt and far and away the best missile in its class. The, the Sea Serpent is designed to give a good standoff range. It is, in its flight profile, it can achieve greater than 290 kilometres in a low profile mode. It has an extensive capability against peer plus threats and therefore its terminal phase, whilst I can't go any, into any detail on it obviously um, on this unclassified uh, forum, I can say that it is um, hugely exciting and, and the Royal Navy will be pleasantly surprised in the capabilities that we are offering. We are working closely with UK partners at the moment to de-risk that integration of Sea Serpent onto the Royal Navy platforms. We are I'm confident that the footprint of Sea Serpent is in very many ways similar to that of the current Harpoon system and therefore there would be minimal uh, requirements to alter the ship uh, installation to allow Sea Serpent to be fitted. The, the reason that we, are, that we are partnering with Talos is that as the UK exits the European Union and as the post-Covid implications start to bite, the UK has a requirement to build back better and to level up across the UK. Uh, we have chosen Talos as our preferred partner to make sure that the social value elements of our delivery absolutely meet the government requirements and that we can offer the UK uh, a good return for the investment it will make in the Sea Serpent capability. So we have been working on our plans to make sure that we can meet the Royal Navy's requirements for a very tight in-service delivery date. So therefore Sea Serpent will be delivered on time, it will be integrated, we will de-risk the programme uh, to make sure that the Royal Navy has the best missile system in the world today and one that can meet the threats of today and of tomorrow.